Jamie, uh, well, there's not weather that we're used to on Earth. Uh, on Earth, we're used to the air and the water mixing together and producing things like clouds and thunderstorms and even hurricanes sometimes. We don't have that here in space. Uh, space is mostly a vacuum, of course, and uh, the weather that we have here tends to be rainy. So the sun sometimes, uh, or a lot of times, sends radiation our way, and so that's kind of the weather that we think about in space. Over. Alp, you've got it. It's incredibly relaxing in space in terms of your physical body and being able to just float. Uh, last night, I slept so well. Uh, we strap in a, a sleeping bag to the wall, and we just float there, and it's very, very pleasant. Now, some of the work that we do is uh, not completely relaxing because there's uh, some important things that we have to do, but yes, in terms of your body, it's incredibly, incredibly relaxing. Over. Hi, Kofi. Well, we could do that. Uh, we could find a planet that's a little bit like Earth and then maybe set up a big bubble and we would live under that. Uh, but you can imagine that would require a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, so really, the planet that we've got right now is the one we need to protect. It's perfect and it's beautiful and it's so fragile. So uh, let's take this over. Ashna, that is a great question, and we are trained uh, in medical procedures in case we need to uh, help a uh, sick or injured crew member, and if we really needed to, we could actually get home uh, in, in pretty short order if we needed to get somebody back on Earth, that we haven't had to do that before, and in fact, I am floating right next to my crewmate, Frank, who's an actual doctor, so he could probably take really good care of us up here before we needed to undock. Over. Island, absolutely. I am so happy to be here. I don't want to be here forever, but I'll tell you, during my five, maybe six months on the International Space Station, I am incredibly happy. This is a great place to live and work. Over. Hello, Isabella. Well, when I was a kid, maybe about your age, I started following the space shuttle program. I just thought that was a really, really cool program. Uh, and as I got older, I got very interested in aviation as well as science. I actually was a physicist before I went into aviation. And so in the end, I realized, boy, this job, even though it's really, really hard to get, is a really neat mixture of both aviation and science. And so so I've loved every bit of this job. Over. David, I was incredibly surprised. Uh, I did not plan on getting this job. Uh, for me, it's a little bit like playing the lottery. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. So I uh, never counted on it. I just thought I would apply and see how it turned out. And so I was really surprised when I got the selection. And it really changed our lives dramatically. And I left my life in physics. Uh, but uh, couldn't be happier to be up here. Over. Hello, Beatrice. Well, we've been up for, here for two months, and we've been really busy while we've been here. So I haven't seen a lot here yet, uh, but we have had a crewmate.
uh, we've got a lot of sources up here. We actually have big bottles of oxygen if we need it, and we actually can make our own oxygen, and we make it from carbon dioxide. Right now, you are breathing in oxygen, and then you're breathing out carbon dioxide. But we can work with that carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen again. Super cool. Over.